All right, lots going on. Let's take a minute and see if uh, we can't get this thing to fire. Let me find a good place to stick the camera here. Uh, news flash. I'm mad at the Cub Cadet, so nothing's getting done with it right now. It threw me another loop, so actually two more loops. I got the rear plate sorted on the transmission, but I still have an oil pan leak. Uh, not sure exactly what's going on. I will do my level best to sort it out, but that's a back burner project now, and that'll all explain itself um, in a little bit. But we've got the Onan Twin here, the 20 horse, 12 volt system. We have got battery hooked up. Let's get the battery, or get the cables connected to the battery itself and see if we have any noise first. Well, we've got the starter seems to be hung up. Hang on, let me go get some uh, lube it juice. Alright, this is either going to work or it's not. I'm tired. It's been a long day already and it's only quarter after 12. Been at it since uh, a long time ago. <laughs> Alright, we have an oil filter. That's good to know. Where's my starter? Where you at, buddy? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Are you over here on the other side? Oh, there you are. Okay. Behind the wow, I don't know if this is even going to make it to it or not. I've got the nice long hose, but without taking the lower housing off, I cannot see well enough to know if I'm getting even in the ballpark here. I guess we'll find out when we turn the key, huh? See if I got enough in there. If any drip down. Well, sounds like it did a little bit of something, huh? Let's try and... Let me work on it a little bit. Alright, gang. Uh, kind of a funny thing. I have a hose tank hooked up to it and I have it turned on and what I didn't expect to happen happened uh, but let me just go ahead and show you what happened <laughs> I got the starter to free up and it decided to do this It runs really well. Really quiet. That really crazy exhaust. It works. Guess that's really all that matters, huh? opposed horizontal onan and a running 20 horse opposed vertical shaft onan cool the rest of this carcass is getting taken away you guys want to move over to that one you want to see if the uh old uh to come see 
We'll come back to life just as easy. Let's try it. All right, you guys aren't gonna be able to hear me very good. I had to put the camera in the shade. It got a little bit too much sun. Got the hose tank, the fuel line on, and the battery in. We're gonna crank her, see if she's gonna start. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of help, but we'll see. If you're ready, I'm ready. Over too. Ready? Let's see what we got. Uh, out. Okay. Get my foot out from under the deck in case it decides to start moving. Here we go. Oh, I think it's going to start too. call that a win the uh both the sears started the <laughs> that goofy old tecumseh powered even drove so i'm gonna be pulling the engine the rest of it if anybody wants it you need to holler now as you hear this video shoot me an email my email's down in the description because otherwise it is being hauled off to scrap next week. I know a lot of people are going to be angry at me about that, and I'm sorry, but I've got way too much stuff going on out here, way too much to mess with. So this one, engine's coming off and going to scrap unless someone wants the whole thing, email me. This one, 
If you want the whole thing with the engine left in, let me know. If you just want the carcass without the engine, let me know in email, which is again down in the description. So we've got the diesel sitting there. Uh, it's still running and doing its thing just fine. Uh, I've got to give it a bath and clean it up and see how it's going to look all clean. And uh, what else do we have here? We've got the old Garden Mark Squire. And blew the cobwebs off Winnie the Poulon, even though it's got that little bit of a leak. Uh, it still mows and does everything just fine. So I actually need a mower. Oh, wait. There's one. Well, what is that? Did Zippo's Legacy come back home? Well, Zippo's Legacy was Kohler powered, wasn't it? It's another one. And it's Kawasaki powered. I need to replace the crank gasket. Right, it leaks right here. And also I have to uh, address the fuel system. They put I actually got this from a dealership. They put a new fuel pump in, but they left the old, crumbly, nasty fuel line. So, it doesn't run great. Uh, 10,050 hours, or, I, listen to me, 1,050 hours on it. It has everything that the other Legacy has, including a 60-inch deck. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I picked up, uh, let me get that off of there picked up a weight bar with six suitcase weights from my buddy Ron and I just wanted to make sure they mounted okay and they do so Miss Zippo is just as happy as she can be she's gonna keep the uh, the other legacy that's the main reason why I went ahead and got this one um, was so that she could have uh, everything's real dry I'm sorry back up a little bit everything's real dry on this one with the exception of that uh, antifreeze leak so I need to get three gaskets the inlet gasket the water pump gasket and the um, so we've got the inlet gasket here water or water pump and inlet gasket so we have the inlet gasket here water pump gasket here and uh, oh you know that guy <laughs> I just drew a blank the crankcase gasket but you can see it's just sitting there dripping so I can get it right there in the sunlight you can see it dripping um, when I got there it started and it ran fine so it didn't overheat and blow the blow anything on the engine it just developed a leak and the owner shut it down so then the owner wanted it repaired. There's going to be too much to repair. You have to take a lot off. Uh, at a shop, a regular shop is going to cost you a boatload of money. So he decided, okay, no, um, we're just going to abandon this and trade in for a new one. Well, this one came with a 60-inch deck, just like my other one. It came with a blade, just like the other one. Only this time, it's still missing that one plate that keeps me from being able to put it on but all is not lost because right here it also came with an electro electric rotating uh, rather large snowblower yay happy about that uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep a snowblower or not because I just I'm just I'm happy with just pushing snow uh, but this one does have on the mounting bracket for the lift the uh, oh it's over here I moved it so that I could videotape it and I'm sitting here hunting for it let me show you now, see this welded in pin right here this is a later model snowblower so what they discovered was that a lot of people these plates were going up missing because you have to take them off every time you go to mount the deck. Well, they were getting misplaced and lost. Simplicity Manufacturing will not sell you just that. You have to buy the entire ladder bracket for underneath the tractor in order to get that one piece. So, Simplicity fixed the problem by welding that piece to the lift arm. 
there you go so all I have to do is pattern this less oops, is pattern this less that piece right there that piece right there is just a stop so that the snowblower will stop at level instead of being able to push down and to stop it in the up position so that it won't come up so high that it'll hit the tractor so I will trace this entire piece out and then I will make two of them to start and I will keep a good pattern so that anybody else who has lost theirs will have the chance of getting that mounting plate but what I suggest you do instead of just throwing a pin through there is to do what's been done here get a piece of bar stock run a bead around each side and weld that sucker to it so you won't lose it yes sir -y. and I could actually just take this whack these two off keep this for one of the blade lifts but if I'm going to sell the snowblower I want to sell it complete and it is complete I've not checked the rotator spout to see if it works or not the cable is a little uh, has a little yeah it might need replaced I will try to free it up but it's been sitting for a couple of years um, but yep there's another legacy in the mix and funny thing is uh, I paid less than um, what I did for the other legacy for just the tractor less for just the tractor and then uh, the implements came in at a reasonable price too they were offered to me so I decided well why not I mean why not right so something else that I've been doing today it's kind of boring as you can see my burn piles getting pretty big uh, I've been out here going through and beautifying a little bit that's all the glass out of the glass frames that were out here but just been cleaning this whole area up cleaning up around the old landlord whoop hi bird so sorry it's okay mama I'm not gonna bother your bird I promise um, Oh, there's another piece of glass. I'm just cleaning it up out here a little bit. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not, but I don't want what I don't want an eyesore over here to hinder uh, sale on that house over there. So I figured I'd do the neighborly thing and clean things up. Still got some to do, but I've got a good portion of it taken care of. Whoops! I walked past the stack of glass. And this piece of glass here is actually original to the house. It is uh, just hand laid glass. And there's only four sheets of it. One, two, three, four. Those four sheets right there are the only four sheets of hand laid glass left. But the rest of it I'm just going to get rid of. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Another legacy. You guys will get to see me repair that. Um, yeah, the manual, the simplicity manual, scares you into thinking you've got to tear the entire engine, take it out and tear the entire thing apart. Uh, no, you don't. I think that's just a scare tactic. So, we've got Mama Sue's Grasshopper in here for new skins on the mid tires. We've got front crazy wheels and rear crazy wheels. And a new belt, a 135 inch belt. And also do a full service on it front to back as well as oil change and clean the engine real well uh, we are at 873 hours on it uh, which is 213 hours over what was on it when we put the Vanguard in so it is mode 213 hours it's had oil changes just general maintenance but mom sue got herself stuck and she said and she looked over the tire she's like well that doesn't look right well yeah she's right it doesn't look right you need some meat on those tires uh and for anybody who's uh, wanting to replace their tires uh i always always use k moro um it's more t Mo moro tire give me this second here moro tire 
morotire.com uh, he sold on eBay for years and he still has an eBay store but he has his own website now uh, and I get you get great tires and great prices on those tires so if you guys are looking for tires and we've got Miss Zippo's push mower here uh, I think it's only mowed about eight maybe a dozen blades of grass uh, <laughs> She got it thinking she'd use it to trim mow and her mower was able to get everywhere it needed to go and so does the legacy but she wants it just to, for just a couple places but she let it sit with ethanol fuel in it for too long yep oops uh, but that's okay it's got the plastic carb we'll pull it off the ports are real easy to clog up on those we'll throw them in the parts cleaner and get that taken care of so there's an update on the goings-on Got another Legacy. Winnie the Poulon is running fine. Just has a tiny little pss, 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 in the head gasket. Both the GT19.9 and the Tecumseh 10 horse run and run well to my delight and surprise. Of course the diesel runs and the B12 runs. That's uh, everything runs. It's been a, been a pretty epic couple weeks hasn't it quite a few things coming in so that's it that's gonna wrap it up I got more cleaning to do breaks over it's one o'clock been shooting video on and off for 45 minutes give or take so hope everyone has a great great weekend and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one boy I got stuff all over everywhere <laughs> Friendly Neighborhood Zippo. I promise you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later. I'm out.